You can make liquid organic fertilizer POC, from potato peels and onion peels by soaking them in air, then filtering them for use on plants. Potato peels contain potassium and other nutrients, while onion peels are rich in plant growth regulators PGRs. For best results, fermenting the fertilizer with a decomposer such as EM4 or rice washing water can enrich it. Materials and tools. Potato peels and onion peels. Container or jerry can. Air. Decomposer optional EM4, rice washing water, or brown sugar. Sieve or clean cloth. Steps. Prepare ingredients. Collect clean potato peels and onion peels. Place in container. Place the potato peels and onion peels in a container or jerry can. Add water. Pour enough water to cover the peels. You can add rice washing water or decomposer if you have one. Fermentation. Close the container tightly and let the fermentation process occur in a place out of direct sunlight for several days to a week. Strain. After the fermentation period, strain the liquid from the container to separate the pulp. Ready to use. The liquid fertilizer from potato and onion peels is ready to be applied as a liquid fertilizer for plants. How to use. Fertilization. Spray this POC on your plants to provide the nutrients they need. The dosage and frequency of use will vary depending on the type and age of the plant. Natural pesticide. The liquid from soaking onion skins can also be used as a botanical pesticide to control pests on plants. Potato peels and onion peels are very beneficial for plants as a source of nutrients, soil enhancer, natural pesticide, and growth stimulant. Potato peels are rich in phosphorus and potassium, making them suitable for composting to fertilize the soil, while onion peels are rich in phosphorus, potassium, and growth regulators such as auxins and gibberellins, making them effective pesticides to repel pests and fungi. Benefits of potato peels for plants. Nutrient source. Potato peels contain potassium, phosphorus, and calcium, which are essential for the development of plant roots, stems, and flowers. Compost and organic fertilizer. Potato peels are an excellent compost ingredient, increasing the organic matter and nutrient content of the soil, and serving as an alternative to chemical fertilizers. Improving soil quality. The decomposition of potato peels in the soil increases soil fertility and improves its structure. Benefits of onion peels for plants. Natural fertilizer and nutrition. Onion peels are rich in nutrients such as potassium and phosphorus, which are good for plant growth. After two weeks of applying your homemade liquid organic fertilizer POC, you should monitor the condition of your plants to see their response to the fertilizer, such as more vigorous growth, greener leaves, or increased yield. POC can be applied regularly every one to two weeks by watering the roots or spraying the leaves after diluting it. Plant observation. After two weeks, observe the following. Plant growth. Is there increased leaf and stem growth? Leaf color. Observe whether the leaves are greener and fresher. Plant health. Observe for signs of reduced or increased resistance to pests or diseases. Soil condition. Observe whether the soil structure around the roots looks better and looser. Balakasita leaves, also known as spoon leaves or binahong, are beneficial for plants as a key ingredient in organic fertilizer, which can increase soil fertility and structure, as well as aid in weed and erosion control. Rich in nutrients like flavonoids, saponins, and tannins, Balakasita leaves can be processed into a fertilizer that enriches the soil and supports sustainable plant growth. The benefits of Balakasita leaves, also known as spoon leaves or binahong, for plants include their role as a primary ingredient in organic fertilizer, which can increase soil fertility and improve soil structure, as well as aid in weed and erosion control. Balakasita leaves, Rich in nutrients such as flavonoids, saponins, and tannins, can be processed into fertilizer that enriches the soil and supports sustainable plant growth. As an organic fertilizer and soil fertility enhancer rich in nutrients, Balakasita leaves contain numerous organic compounds, such as flavonoids, saponins, and tannins, which are essential sources of nutrients for plants. Improving Soil Structure Using Balakasita leaves as organic fertilizer can improve soil structure thereby increasing the soil's ability to retain water soil supporting microorganisms. Organic fertilizer from Balakasita leaves also helps support the growth of soil microorganisms, which are beneficial for soil health. As organic mulch protecting the soil, dried Balakasita leaves can be used as mulch to cover the soil surface. Maintaining moisture and temperature. As mulch, these leaves help maintain soil moisture and regulate the soil temperature. Reducing weeds. 
A layer of balakasita leaf mulch can suppress the growth of weeds and wild grasses around plants. Erosion Prevention Mulch also functions to protect the soil from erosion caused by rain. Other benefits related to agriculture reducing agricultural waste. Using balakasita leaves as fertilizer can reduce agricultural waste, making it a more environmentally friendly solution. Reducing dependence on chemical fertilizers. Using balakasita leaves as an alternative fertilizer can help farmers reduce the use of chemical fertilizers, which has a positive impact on the environment. To make liquid organic fertilizer from balakasita leaves, soak 2 kg of balakasita leaves in 2 liters of water and brown sugar water, as an activator, then ferment for at least 10 days in a closed container. Once the fermentation process is complete, dilute the resulting liquid to a specific ratio and use it to spray on the leaves or water the plant roots. Here are the steps for making liquid organic fertilizer from balakasita leaves. 1. Prepare the ingredients. Fresh balakasita leaves, about 2 kg, clean water, about 2 liters. Sufficient brown sugar water to activate the fermentation. 2. Fermentation process. Place the balakasita leaves in a container. Add the water and brown sugar water to the container. Cover the container and let it sit for at least 10 days for the fermentation process. This process allows the leaves to decompose and the nutrients to dissolve in the water. Using liquid fertilizer. After fermentation, the resulting liquid can be used as fertilizer. Dilute the resulting liquid organic fertilizer with air before use, as needed. The fertilizer can be sprayed onto plant leaves or poured directly onto the roots. Benefits and Uses Improves Soil Fertility this fertilizer enriches the soil with essential nutrients needed by plants, such as carbon, thereby increasing overall soil fertility. Improves soil structure. The use of organic fertilizers can generally improve the physical structure of the soil, making it looser and more easily penetrated by roots. Improves air retention. Good soil structure will increase the soil's ability to retain air, which is important for maintaining moisture and preventing drought. Supports soil microorganisms. Organic fertilizers create a balanced environment and support the activity of beneficial microorganisms in the soil, which are essential for nutrient cycling. Reduces dependence on chemical fertilizers. As an alternative to chemical fertilizers, their use helps farmers save costs and reduce negative impacts on the environment. The best time to spray liquid organic fertilizer POC, is in the morning, 6 o'clock to 9 a.m., or in the afternoon after 4 o'clock or 5 p.m., because at these times the plants are less stressed by the sun's heat and the nutrients can be better absorbed. Avoid spraying during hot sun or before heavy rain, and ensure even application, especially on the undersides of the leaves. Ideal spraying times. Morning. Ideal because the air temperature is still cool and the plants are fresh after the night. Sick today. Another good option is because the temperature has started to drop, preventing rapid evaporation. Times to avoid. Midday during strong sunlight, hot temperatures can stress plants and cause nutrients to evaporate quickly, reducing the effectiveness of the spray. When it's about to rain, heavy rain can wash POC from leaf surfaces and the soil before it can be absorbed by the plant. Important tips for spraying. Shake well. Make sure the POC is shaken well before use. Pay attention to the leaf surface. Spray the POC evenly onto the underside of the leaf, leaf palm, where the stomata are located for greater nutrient absorption. Avoid spraying on stressed plants. Avoid spraying on plants that have just been pruned, transplanted, or infested with pests, as this can worsen the condition. Pay attention to the weather. If it rains within an hour of spraying, re-spray may be necessary. Further research and development Natural product development. Balakasita leaves can be developed into natural skincare products, modern herbal medicines, and natural disinfectants. Sustainable agricultural solutions. Utilizing balakasita leaves as a natural fertilizer and pesticide aligns with the goals of sustainable agriculture, reducing dependence on chemical fertilizers and minimizing environmental impact. Utilization of local resources. Using balakasita leaves as a raw material utilizes abundant local natural resources in the surrounding environment and can help farmers reduce livestock and agricultural treatment costs. Balakasita leaves, also known as basil leaves, chromolena odorata, can be used as a natural pesticide to repel plant pests such as insects and aphids. Thanks to their flavonoid compounds, 
which are effective as botanical insecticides. How to use as a botanical pesticide extract preparation. Take Balakaceta leaf extract, which can be prepared in a specific manner. Use on plants. Use the extract as a pesticide to repel plant pests. Compounds in the extract, especially flavonoids, can affect the insect's digestive system, acting as a stomach poison and influencing pest mortality, as quoted from Scribd. Other benefits of Balakaceta leaves besides being a pesticide. Balakaceta leaves also have many other benefits. Health. They can be used to treat wounds and overcome digestive problems such as diarrhea, and they also have antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial properties. Three weeks after applying liquid organic fertilizer, the plant may begin to show positive responses, such as an increase in leaf number or better growth, because the liquid fertilizer is quickly absorbed by the roots and leaves in a relatively short time. However, the effects can vary depending on the type of plant, environmental conditions, soil and weather, and the quality of the liquid organic fertilizer used. What can happen after three weeks? Minimal growth. Plants will show an increase in leaf number or better growth if the liquid organic fertilizer applied is of good quality. Nutrient absorption. Liquid organic fertilizer works relatively quickly and is absorbed through the leaves and roots, so results are visible within a few weeks of application. Plant condition. Observe the overall health of the plant, 